Hello everybody, it's Saturday again. Watching Rick Conti Corvette. I'm sure he wears. Let's turn the fan down. It's September, it's still hot. Hi Rick, man. Alright, so our project today is on 21 inch snapper. A little bit rough for wear and I honestly, I have to go back and look through Instagram. I don't remember how old this mower is, but um, we don't really push mow too many yards, but one yard we do have, it's uh, probably a third acre, up, down, all around, lots of little areas, original tires, about time to replace those, but <clears throat> the big issue today is these rear bearings. Let me grab the light. So this is the issue here. I thought it was, look, look, look at that. That was really dropping my height too, and I didn't even catch it, which was dumb. You see it kind of wore into the shield here too, but that is our issue. So I stopped using it before it totally went. That one's not too bad, but that side's totally shot. So we've got our new ones here. This is, uh, let's see what number that is. Uh, it replaces, it's 701-2312-YP. Pull one out here for you. That's a little pricey, that's amazing. 12 bucks for one bearing. But, I believe the mower is four years old. So nice sealed bearing so we probably got our life's worth out of it um but so i don't remember all the details on how to get this apart but we're going to work on it shouldn't be too hard i think we need to oh come that i think what we end up having to do is pop off one of these brackets here so that you can pull the wheel off slide one side off slide one side off and go from there so we'll give it a try here there's that mounting hole there so i think if we drop that um that'll work out good and we get on the cart that gonna work on these weedy directs later today for the new trailer but this is a day's project we gotta get that done first so we'll keep you up there so it is easy to um pull this off you know that one will be even easier and then you've got these they look like eight millimeter uh bolts here that you just zip out more like a screw really and then you can put your new one in but you can see um and i was wondering while i was getting kind of a lollop sometimes and that was just the ball bearings gradually disintegrating so but this is an easier job than i expected really really happy about that so that'll go on right there and everything will be nice and good again. That's gonna roll well. Yeah, so not as hard of a job as you might think. Typical maintenance on these mowers. You know, another thing to go bad usually is, that one's a little bit loose. I've already placed a belt, but that'll typically go bad. This bearing, you've gotta watch for. That one's doing pretty good. I need a new wheel. My wheel's getting to be kind of flat. Um, this bearing is usually pretty good But yeah, just basic stuff and then the bearing inside your disc itself will go bad I need to do that on my on my backup snapper. So but this is gonna take you along for the little journey If you ever work on these snappers uh, Makes life a little bit easier. So all right, that's it for the moment All right, so time for the other side. We already got the wheel off I did find one more trick that's kind of helpful for um, you know, removing the bearing from the actual housing and we'll show you that in just a minute. This bolt stud doesn't really move so you'll definitely need to be loosening the nut oh, wow. from this side. That bigger is on there. Wow! Guess we had a little PG blaster for that side. Well, apparently that dude is rusty crusty on there. It's a good thing I got some extra parts. 
I'm not sure which is going to be the best way to saw it off. Why? Wow, I was not expecting that. As usual. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. Well, I guess two back then. But we're going to figure it out. Alright, it's cutting time. That seems a little bit excessive, but kind of the only way to get it done this time. Now I might be able to um, yeah, look at that. Crazy. I should be able to pop this little pin and uh, then put a new bolt in there. But that's not pretty severe. I don't know where the rest of it went, but anywho. Strange times, we got it done though. Alright, so here's the bolt we had to cut off. And you really do have to, you can't just use any bolt, you really do need this um, style with the uh, special edge here. So that when it goes in, you've got a nice fit like this. And that's where it runs and holds both of these parts together. So, thankfully went through my extra parts, and look at, lo and behold, we had an extra one. So we're going to lube that up real good. We'll go ahead and get this one apart. So, 8 millimeter. I'll pull these out, and I'll show you the little trick to get the bearing out. It's kind of the same idea you would use for a uh, you know, ball joints and so forth. Just kind of run a large diameter two piece here and then use your vise back here. And this one's not too bad, but it is kind of it's kind of crusty, kind of kind of granular. So we're gonna go ahead and just replace it. We're here, it's up on top, so in the area. So we bought two, actually about four. I'm gonna redo the my backup mower as well. So, there's this extra little clip to put on the back here to uh, secure that. So, get this out and we'll show you the way to get the bearing out. You can probably just hammer it too. And you could use some PB Blaster ahead of time. And that would make it easier. You can see it's not gonna. Oh, this one, <laughs> that's funny. Ah, bummer. This one actually press out by itself for the most part. But here's the trick I was using. Yeah. So take this, put it in the vise. Actually, go around the other side. Put it in the vise and just press it out. But this one was a lot easier. Weird, we had to cut the bolt on this one. But, yeah, so just clean up your edge. Maybe go ahead and... Yeah, so that one's basically shot. We're just going to throw that other way. No time to mess with that. So you could probably, you know, for a homeowner and probably regrease it or whatever, but not doing that for a work mower. I think I end up using it three three days a week, a couple yards. Nothing super spectacular, but except for Friday. Friday gets Friday gets some good use. Move that up. Get a bearing in there. Yeah, so really a pretty quick job if you don't have to 
do the whole cut off the bolt trick and it should just press right in there. Run your little screws to make sure it stays there. We'll get this on the trailer for Monday and see how it does. Thankfully the backup did its job well. We put ANSCs all in our shaft there too for a wheel. Eventually I'll switch wheels, might put the backup backup wheels on there. Or I should do that now honestly. Now as I'm thinking about it, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Alright, so yeah. Actually, that's how it goes right there. So, we'll stick this. Through here. Then we'll run our little clip. down here tack it on now it's got the anisees has traveled I don't know about you, camera, but you keep moving. Why is that? Alright. So. Good to go there. Go ahead and slide it up on here. Turn it over on this side. And we'll tighten it down. I'm going to, sir, sir, sir. Yeah, I'm really surprised with the flare wrench. It wouldn't do the trick. That was quite the surprise. That Blue Harbor Freight uh, grinder, depending on you know how much work you're doing, how often you're using it, has been a really good grinder. No complaints. I don't use it you know all the time, but for when I do need it, I've been very happy with it. Alright. So I usually use some silicone spray to lubricate these joints here and it seems like it does the trick well. So alright. I think I'm gonna go ahead while I'm thinking about it and go grab the other wheels off the other mower and slap it on here. But this so this will finish off our uh, our Saturday video for bearing replacement on a 21 inch snapper a little dirty but runs great so that's your how-to video for the day thanks for watching we'll see you next time